and we, and we go away victorious. Ain't nobody better than us. You watching PG-13 2021. Today is what we came up with media day. And, it, and man, y'all looking real good today, all right? Hey, it's August 10th. Our first day tomorrow is August 11th, and it's go time, right? Today is big. It's the start, the start of a new season for us. Um, to be out here in our first media day, I'm excited. Uh, you know, we, we set a tradition of winning. Uh, we want to continue that tradition. We have so many new faces, trying to mix the old faces, so a lot of these young men. You know, we're ready to get back to it, we're ready to get active, and, uh, you know, we're ready to compete. I feel like everybody trying to come for us, you know, but our team mindset, we have an underdog mentality. We're going to keep a level head, no, no moment too big for us. I feel like we're going to go far this year. Every day, every hour, every minute to every second, you're going to give us everything we got on the football field and in the classroom. So. I'm very proud of this, these young men. I'm excited, it's been two years off. The kids are excited, it's one year, so we're all gonna come in jail and just have some fun. And that's the biggest thing I miss, is just being around the guys, being around the coaches, having fun, and just enjoying each other, but also winning games. So when you're winning games, it's also enjoying each other. A lot of people out here is going through the same thing as I am, and that we all got one goal, and it's a win. Hawaii, second seven. <laughs> first. After a long layoff of COVID, uh, we're just excited just to be back and uh, to have athletics running uh, as close to normal as possible. Uh, there were some players that were a little bit on the smaller side and uh, to come out here and see some students that they're taller than me uh, was a very pleasant surprise. Not having seen my team for a while, I think we all recognize that we have flaws. Me being with some of my senior leaders, right, that played for me as sophomores when we won a state championship, they played a lot that year. And even though they missed out a year last year, they still mature as in they're 17 years old. So they understand what I want. They know right from wrong, right, even though they, they missed the year. So it's good when we're all on the same page. You a dog in this. This is not how champions practice. Y'all got to find a way to get through this by loving this. You got to love this game, man. You can't practice like that and expect to be great. We got to do better. I need to hear chatter from one thing to the other. I need to be hear a good break. That's what teams do. That's what good teams do. That's what great teams do. You understand? One, two, one. let's go. Go back. This week is the first week we can have two-a-day practices. So you can have two practices for two hours, and then you have a break, and then another practice for two hours. We assessed our roster, we're very young, we're very talented, we have a lot to learn, we have to come together as a team. Square, near foot, near foot hit, driving again, taking it back, everybody got it. I'm kind of rusty from the two years, yes, I would say that because I kind of got hit and it wasn't good. We got to get used to like everybody being bigger than us because me and Tyson, we pretty much like almost the smallest people on the field. I didn't expect it to be like this. I did get run over. I did get run over on my first try to tackle. It's exciting to be back, man. So we only had seven on seven last year. We ain't had no pads, and now we got pads again. Uh, it feels great to be back. It was almost like two years. I mean, sitting at home all day. I mean, I did have my training sessions and stuff, but it wasn't comparable to what we're doing right now. So it really feels great to be back. I'm back with my brothers. At the end of the day, this is what I love. The guys are believing. They understand what we're trying to sell. They understand what they have to do, and they're believing in us. They have faith, and they trust us. We have to take it day by day, but we, we know in Prince George's County, everybody's in that same boat. The problem becomes in our quest to win a state title, the other counties not because they played in the spring. So we're going to have to accelerate what we're doing, but we have to also focus on the details of football.
I think, you know, the team that comes together the, the quickest and gels the quickest is going to do very well. This is a game of inches. We got to be, you know, everybody has to pay attention to detail just a little bit more. And so they starting to understand that. You watching PG-13 2021. Keep up with all episodes of PG-13 on PGCPS social media platforms.